we need to understand the how an airport works. We have more than 20 stakeholders that work inside of the airport buildings that represents more than 60% of the jobs of the industry. When the passengers see the sea airline and the airport, however, these 20 stakeholders come from ground handling, air traffic controllers, uh, immigration process and others. And basically, if one of these uh, stakeholders have an issue on the process, uh, is a domino effect that affect all parts of the travel experience for the customers. That's why basically, uh, I don't like these uh, pointing fingers in the airports because basically I think we are a community, we need to work together to solve the issues together, considering all the stakeholders that we have. Okay, and let's talk about solving the issues. Now, many of the problems seem to hinge on scarce labor. I mean, travel has been picking up for months. What are some of the labor issues and what do you think could help solve it in the near term, especially because, you know, there are shortages everywhere? Yeah, I don't agree with you that there is shortage everywhere. We have some specific airports that are suffering. You mentioned some of them. However, you know, we need to understand that uh, during these two years of COVID, we lost a lot of professionals. And different than the airlines, we didn't receive any support from the governments, including, of course, the ground handlers and other stakeholders from the industry. Now, to recruit these people back, train them, and bring that to the speed they need to De deliver the service that we need to the customers takes a little bit of time. That's why we are seeing different countries, they need to import labor, especially on ground handling side. We need to improve the systems. That's why I basically use uh, the automated the, the systems in the countries to accept uh, the immigration process uh, and others uh, that we need to work in training but, and supporting yeah. our members on that delivery. Okay, but what I'm trying to get at here is if I'm sitting in an airport, and many of us have sat in airports, and things are nowhere near normal. Sometimes you can understand certain delays. Other times you just can't. It's been absolute chaos. We understand if it's pilots, if it's air traffic control operators, obviously they can't be trained overnight. But in terms of the other labor issues, and you keep uh, talking about the ground handlers, perhaps it's immigration and customs, what do you think can be done in the weeks to come? Because right now, I'm thinking 2019 is like a dream right now, that we can't travel like that for years to come. And, and, and that's the case. We need to work as an ecosystem to solve the problems. That's why governments need to help us to have uh, imported of uh, the, the import, uh, ground handling uh, uh, employees from different countries to support the airports that are facing these issues in the ground handling side. The airports uh, are doing their best to train people and improve the service quality. And that you see a curve that will improve uh, in the future weeks. Uh, however, we still facing issues in the air traffic controllers. We still facing issues on the pilots as well. That's why basically as an ecosystem, if we solve one side, we won't save the other. That's why basically the domino effect that caused any kind of issues in, in the parts of the travel will affect us. That's why you see that certain kind of misunderstanding what's happening when you are at the airport and you don't understand what's going on in different parts of the process. Okay, I don't have any time left here, but I am gonna ask you next summer, yes or no? Will we be closer to normal? Yes or no? Yes, we are crazy to travel. We are an industry that will bring back the connection between families, okay. business, holidays, and we will do our best to work okay. hard to have these people back on our air, in our airports and our airplanes. Fingers crossed. We'll be back to you next summer to see if hopefully some of the chaos has died down. I leave it there for now. Thanks so much. Appreciate it.